Hey guys, how's it going? Local girl here. Today I wanted to kind of cover the best way to optimize your ski days if you're staying at the Canyons Village base at Park City and you're planning to ski that, that side of the mountain for about three days. So to start off on day one, uh, I recommend you can either take this red pine gondola or the orange bubble express. Take either of those all the way up to the top and just start off in this saddleback and high meadow express area. Um, this video will be geared toward more beginner intermediate skiers, so those blues and greens. And um, if you want to see videos for more advanced terrain uh, to like schedule out your days, definitely let us know in the comment below. Anyway, yeah, so day one, let's start off in this High Meadow Express, Saddleback Express area. There's a ton of really good blues. You can even see some really mellow greens in here. This is a great spot to just get your skis back on and just remember that you remember how to ski, if that makes any sense. And um, so once you've kind of explored this whole area, then you can drop down to the Sun Peak Express area. So this lift is just off to the right here and you can ski over either taking Cocopelli and down or you could if you you know had skied all the way down to the base you can take the orange bubble back up just take this mid mountain uh, exit off of the lift and then there's a, a couple of blues that'll take you down to the Sun Peak area as well uh, and then once you're done checking out the Sun Peak area if you just ski past the lift this will take you to Super Condor Express and um, this one, I think the best blue on here is this upper boa. It's just like this super long, mellow, groomed blue run. Um, it's really pretty. You're in all of these really deep pines. The, the run's super wide, so that would be a really fun one to check out. And especially at the end of the day, you can just jump past the Super Condor Express, ride this cat track all the way back, and you'll end up back at the base. All right, so for day two, uh, again, you can take the Red Pine Gondola or the Orange Bubble Express. Take those all the way up and we're going to head down to the Tombstone area. So the best way to do that is, you know, whether you took either of those lifts, come down and take Chicane all the way to the Tombstone Express base area. Um, down here, there's like a little barbecue, like lunch spot and it's just super fun. Sometimes you can get a little busy. So ideally, you wouldn't be skiing this area on the weekend. Um, it's You know, you can pass it if you needed to, but lapping Tombstone a couple of times, like on a busy Saturday or Sunday, can kind of take some time because you might be waiting in the line. But the lift's pretty quick, and it gets you to a lot of awesome terrain. Um, so you, you can take this up here. Going to the left, I mean, you can see there's a million blues here, and they're super mellow, really fun. Um, this blue area takes you through a neighborhood called The Colony. And uh, there's some bougie houses in there. So it's kind of fun because you're skiing through and you see these beautiful homes. There's aspens and pines and it's just absolutely stunning. And as you can tell, there's a million ways to get down. So it's kind of fun to explore a different route each time. Once you've lapped Tombstone a couple of times, then you can head over to Peak 5. This one just kind of takes you up to a higher elevation and has a couple of different options of connecting into these blue runs uh, that you could access off of Tombstone. Honestly, these will keep you busy for a long time. So really, I think that's, you know, a good amount of skiing to get in for a day. Perfect way to spend your second day skiing on Canyon Side. For day three, again, you'll take the Red Pine Gondola or the Orange Bubble Express up. You'll head over like we did on day two down to the base of Tombstone. Um, but rather than taking Tombstone up, there's a lift called Timberline, and this will take you over to the base of Iron Mountain Express. Uh, as you can see on here, there's a couple of fun blues. This might be a fun one to try for day three, because typically Leadfoot, Double Nickel, and Silver Streak are not groomed, but the moguls on them are really mellow. So this would be like a perfect place to learn and start working on moguls, or if you're already comfortable and confident with them, there's some great lines in there for sure. Once you've checked out this Iron Mountain Express for a little while, you can come up here to the top and there's two ways to come down. You can either take this upper white pine or crumb alley. You'll loop down. As you can see, you'll pass the Quilksilver Gondola. That's where if you wanted to access over to the Park City side from the Canyon side, this is the gondola that will take you over. Ski down that past, past the Flatiron uh, lift as well to White Pine. 
and this will take you to the base of Dreamcatcher. And as you can see, Dreamcatcher just links you up into this whole other area just full of a ton of really fun blues. So you can take this up and lap back down to Dreamcatcher. Um, you can go down this other face of the mountain and take Dreamscape. Um, there's a little diner up at the top here as well. So if you're looking for lunch or something, that could be a good place to stop if you didn't pack anything. And then again, there's another lift too called Daybreak. And this has more just mellow runs kind of looping through the neighborhood up here. Um, I mean, seriously, like a, you could spend all day here, which is why we recommend this for your third day for your trip. There's definitely some groom runs in here. There's also some good Mowgli runs, some good bunts. Um, so there's a good variety. And I think, you know, if you had a, a group of people with a mixture of ability levels, all of these areas that we're covering, there's going to be a run for everybody. Something that's super mellow, groomed, and then maybe if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, there's definitely some Mowgli or Blues or some groomed blacks if you wanted to give those a try. At the end of the day here, you'll ski back down to the base of either like Dreamscape, Daybreak, or to Dreamcatcher, and you'll take this run called Harmony. Or if you're coming from the base of Dreamscape or Daybreak, Harmony will take you back down to the base or at the bottom of Dreamcatcher, then you'll just take this cascade run and, and hop back over on Timberline to the base of Tombstone. One thing I did want to mention is that a super easy way to, to get back to Canyon Space from this Tombstone area is to take this lift called Over and Out. This will take you to a super chill blue run that will lead you right back to the base. You can do that super quick and easy and it's been super nice because they just added that lift I think two seasons ago so it's a little bit newer. Canyons is a super fun side. There's a ton of terrain as you can see. Um, definitely plenty to keep you busy for three days. Honestly more than that but I think this is a good breakdown of how to optimize as much of your time skiing make sure you're spending that time skiing and not waiting on lifts or in lines super stoked for you guys to come out and visit so let's get out and shred